Hello. Now I'm going to tie midge fly. I'm going to use size 20 hook. I go even smaller than this, but uh, no need. Right now, no need because right now around me only midges size 20 are matching. Uh, the color is a bit olive with a ribbing a bit yellowish, so I'm going to use body quill for the body. And I'm not going to, to, to do ribbing and everything because I don't think there is need for that. So I'm going to tie just thin body and leave enough room in front of me to tie CDC wings. Uh, for this purpose I use body quill and I'm going to wood finish it just on the place where my thorax is going to be. So right now I'm going to switch to mini thread 17.0 and I'm using this one because it's very thin and it's, it won't build up too much my fly. Uh, this fly I'm, try, I'm going to try to keep it simple and uh, as small and with as little material as possible. So right now I took iced up UV pearl going to use it as, let's say, I'm not going to imitate wings, it's some shiny moments that the wings are producing. So I'm just going to put it on the top of the body and cut it to the some length, same as body or less, it's not that important. Uh, the thing that's going to keep this fly on the surface is CDC. And I'm not going to use a whole feather or anything else. I'm just going to take one piece of this side course. So I'm going to take a small bunch of it like this, cut it with my scissors. And it's maybe like 15 of these strands, not more than that, which I'm going to tie uh, for the thicker part, thicker part of the worm and I'm going to fold it back. So the next step is to add a bit of thorax. In this case it's going to be just hair's ear fur and it's going to be small. Just a small pinch of it. See? It's like maybe one centimeter long, maybe even less. Now I'm going to use my whip finisher to fold these wings back. I'm going to create a bubble here and this bubble is going to help me, uh, to, not to me, but to help my fly flow better because this bubble will hold air bubble inside and if you tie a fly like that you're going to get a pretty blind fly. Now the only thing that's left is, is uh, that I need to put wood finish on this and that's more or less it. This also can be like a small caddis fly, even mate fly. I don't think that fish will mind. And the cat is playing with my body. Okay, let it say hello. Okay, thank you for watching, and this is it. Just use very, very slim tippet. Thin tippet for this. Don't use anything thicker than like 0.12. So I guess 7x. The thickest is a 6x. I, think. But I would prefer 7 or 8x for this. One. This is it. Small midge fly. Thank you for watching and see you next time.